Well, hello there. Good evening. I'm so excited to try out this platform and have you join on with me this evening. So we'll see who's here. And uh, yeah, I'm so excited. Just wait and see if someone's going to join on with me this evening. Mm -hmm. Okay, if you've joined on and you can hear and you can see, um, maybe just find the chat in the YouTube live and um, maybe enter a little comment saying hello and then I'll know that someone's with me and that it's up and running okay. I'm not sure if this will be recorded, so I might just wait for a moment and see if anyone else hops on this evening. What a beautiful spring day we've had. Rebecca's here. Good evening. Yes, you can hear and see. Okay. Awesome. It's working. I have never used this um, properly before, so this is the first time you're helping me christen it, Rebecca. I think what we'll do is we'll just start and um, I'll encourage some more people to to say hello in the chat and then I'll know who else is with us. Um, a little different than a Zoom, we can't um, chat directly back and forth, but we can do that in using the chat. So i um, really super glad to have you join me this evening. Spring is arriving in Ontario and our snow is, is disappearing this week. The thermometer is rising. Um, and this is one of my favorite classes to teach. I think, Rebecca, you've joined in on a class like this before, but hopefully we'll throw in a few new things that we can learn together tonight. And, uh, yeah, it's warming up up north too, eh? That's awesome. So you know me. I'll introduce myself anyway um, in case we're able to post a recording of this later. And uh, my name's Diana, I'm 57, and I'm a mom, and I'm a grandma. And the things that fill my cup and give me joy um, in my life include music and gardening, digging in the dirt, right? We just love that. We're just anticipating that this time of year. And of course, everything to do with plants. So I love the whole growth process. I love watching that happen each year and just the living energy as the, the perennials push their way up through the ground and uh, just how plants are able to help us out in so many ways. I also would love to see, yes, it works. Okay, I can put my iPad away. Hello, Michelle, um, because I'm able to see you all on the same screen. So. I think this is going to work out just great. Michelle's here. So in this class, we are going to talk about potent and versatile plant power. And you girls already know what I'm talking about, right? This is in the form of pure essential oils. And these have really come to the rescue for people of all ages throughout the ages. So nothing new. And our focus during this class will be skin. And we love to teach a class on natural skin care going into the spring. So we've called this Spring into Beauty. And we're just going to talk about how we can nourish and protect and rejuvenate our skin heading into the spring and summer, summer months with these pure plant-based natural beauty secrets. So I'm not sure what you girls used before i know myself i've used a lot of things and tried a lot of different things on my skin over the years um but i love how the we're learning together right how the essential oils help us to steer clear of the harmful and questionable and even toxic ingredients that um, can be found in our skincare regimen sometimes without us even realizing so um I'm going to make, I'm going to show everyone how to make a skin serum this evening. Um, a simple skin serum at home 
beginning with a quality carrier oil and the oils found in the premium starter bundle of genuine essential oils from Young Living, which we'll be digging into as we go. And you'll be able to use a serum like this morning and or in the evening. And uh, especially for the face and the neck area is where I like to use it. And it's infused with all of those amazing natural constituents found in your skin loving essential oils. I'm not an expert on beauty um, and skincare by any means. I know someone like Rebecca who's joining us with your esthetician skills. And Michelle, um, you've got skills in that area too. You probably um, know more about the ins and outs of the actual skin and its layers than I do. Um, and I, But I'm drawing from experts like Dr. Sabina DeVita in this class. Um, so I, some of you have seen her book, Saving Face, um, The Sensible Way to Wrinkle-Free Skin. So Dr. Sabina you, talks a lot about using essential oils for skincare and beauty. Um, and, uh, and I'm also going to be sharing what I've learned from my own experience. So basically, I'm sharing what's been working really well for me. And I'm sure you have your own stories um, and others will have their own stories as well of what they've adopted for um, some of these clean ingredients for skincare daily and just for beauty and for what I like to call aging well from the inside out. So as always, we're continually working with or against our body's own incredible systems. And this includes this amazing organ that we call our skin. One thing I have learned about my skin is that it's alive and it's as vital to my body as my heart and my lungs. So lifeless chemicals can't feed it what it needs to thrive. So have you ever thought about your skin as your body's first line of defense? Um, or how our skin is our only organ that's constantly exposed to the elements and our environment? So this fact alone um, is a good reason to, um, to watch how it's impacted. It's so easily impacted by external as well as internal causes. And our skin, as you know, is our most absorptive organ. So it's, and it's our largest organ of elimination, um, which we often don't think about, which helps us to detoxify our body through things like sweating um, and, and skin secretions, just the normal respiration of our skin. So skin also has a symptom, a system of lymphatic vessels and channels that supply nutrients to its larger vessels. And it's about 10 to 20% water um, for this reason. So that's, that's kind of cool to think about too, um, how our skin is, if our skin is made up of that much water, that's all the more reason to hydrate and place that emphasis on daily water intake um, for healthy skin function. Um, of equal importance is the role that our skin plays in protecting against bacterial infection, preventing dehydration and acting as a receptor for light. Uh, so when we go out in the sunlight and that stimulates body functions as well. Did you know that your skin actually breathes and uh, that it directly absorbs up to two and a half percent of the body's total oxygen requirement just out just from our environment? So kind of kind of like plants, like you see behind me, right? Good evening, Susan. And uh, I'm just looking at the comments here. Mary Kay for years. Yeah, a lot of us have used so many different things, right? Um, so, and our skin, it breathes, it, it uh, absorbs um, our bodies, some oxygen for our body, and then it expels 3% of our body's carbon dioxide waste so that's pretty cool so it's really important how we're caring for this amazing protective absorptive and eliminative organ our skin is also highly permeable to carcinogenic and toxic ingredients so this is important because what we put onto our skin influences that vital oxygen and carbon dioxide exchange and if it's hampered by chemical contaminants the skin's function, health, and appearance are all com compromised. Now, women in particular, 
are at higher risk for absorption of toxins than men. Did you know that? And that's because we are more thin skinned than men and we have more fat under our skin um, in its subdermis or the bottom layer. And this is the layer which bioaccumulates bio those hazardous chemicals. In fact, evidence suggests that the skin is more permeable to carcinogens than the intestines. Lastly, our skin shows us not only the condition of our internal organs, but also gives us a great external picture of how our body systems are all working together on the inside for optimal wellness. So I have um, a little PowerPoint slide I'll just put up on the screen for you. And maybe if you can let me know, um, if you can still hear me once I open this up, because again, we're kind of all learning how to use this um, together tonight. Um, so our skin, yeah, this is a really neat quote by Dr. Sabina, and it says, outside beauty is an inside job of maintaining healthy organs. Um, okay, so I'm just going to stop sharing that for a minute. So when I put that PowerPoint slide up, could you still hear me? Are you seeing and hearing at the same time? I'm just getting used to this restream that I'm using. And there's a little bit of a delay in the comments too. Um, okay, I'll put, I'll put the next one up and ask again in a sec. So our skin's showing us um, how our body systems are working together. And here's an example of that. So bruising easily can be a sign of first stage scurvy symptoms. So the same as bleeding gums. Um, so if our skin's bruising really easily, that's showing us that we're deficient in ascorbic acid or vitamin C. Could still hear. Okay. Um, okay. I'll try it again. Okay. Can you see a slide that has a quote on it and a flower? Hmm. All right. I'll just wait and see if you can see that now. Um, another thing is itchy skin uh, can occur when bile is present. Hmm. Oh, okay. It's not working. Shoot, shoot, shoot. Okay. So I have all these beautiful PowerPoint slides made up for you and they're not showing. Let me try one more time. Um, what about now? Can you see it now? Nothing like learning on the fly. Um, the same as bruising easily can be a sign of vitamin C deficiency, itchy skin. Okay, yay. Itchy skin can occur when bile is present in the bloodstream um, due to our liver not functioning as well. Uh, so if our liver is not functioning as well as it should, then uh, we, we sometimes will have red burning itchy palms on our hands and that can be a sign of liver damage um, and abnormal hormone levels in the blood. Another way our skin can show us what's going on on the inside of our body are spider capillaries. So um, those spider veins, we call them. And those are in the dermis or middle layer of our skin. And those are caused by high levels of estrogen. Another indication that the liver isn't functioning optimally or that we need to balance with supplemental progesterone. So something like our PPP, our progestins, Phyto Plus or a sign that it's a sign that we're not metabolizing our hormones as we should. So again, focusing on that liver function. So all this to say and remember that outside beauty is an inside job of maintaining healthy organs and body systems. So now I'm going to try <laughs> to um, go to the next slide here. Um, so I'll just do that. Oop. Go here. 
and nope, that didn't work. Um, sorry guys, I thought I had this figured out this afternoon. Um, okay, there it is. All right, I'll get in the loop of this in a sec. Um, this slide shows some of our top aging accelerators. So things like sun damage or cigarette smoke, stress levels, um, and nutritional deficiencies, especially those vitamins A, C, and E, and essential fatty acids like our omegas, our omega-3s, 6s, and 9s from nuts and seeds and leafy greens. So a deficiency in those um, can accelerate aging. Junk food, coffee, sugar, and alcohol, those things we kind of know already. A stressed or toxic liver, we just talked about. Hormonal imbalance, again, we just talked about that. Or adrenal exhaustion, as higher levels of stress hormones advance the aging process. Um, poor digestion or lack of enzymes or probiotics. We talked about that in our digestion questions class. Um, also can accelerate the aging of our skin. And lastly, the use of harsh soaps, abrasive household cleaners and chemical cosmetics. And even things like Dr. Sabina talks about in her book, things like electromagne electromagnetic pollution and smartphone and tablet usage. And that's something that she refers to as tech neck because we're always looking down like this um, and it sort of blocks our lymph flow. All these things are can be aging accelerators. So things like our like upping our water intake, which we mentioned, consuming those antioxidant rich foods and beverages like green tea is a really, really great one with its polyphenols um, and supplementing our daily diet with our supplements and our antioxidants and taking steps to detoxify or cleanse and support our liver can actually become part of our overall beauty regimen when it comes to supporting radiant, glowing, healthy looking skin. It's not hard to imagine that skin ages because we lose water and when our skin becomes drier, we lose collagen, which literally means that that mattress of our skin begins to shrink and we lose hormones secreted by the skin um, when the skin uh, doesn't isn't hydrated enough. So um, because the hormones help the skin retain its moisture in the first place. So it's a bit of a vicious cycle there. So remember, our skin is our largest organ and all of our organs and our body systems need adequate hydration and they all work together. Bowel cleansing and that loving on your liver through diet, nutritional supplements and essential oils is something discussed again recently, um, pretty extensively in other classes, but these are all first and best practices to see the health and glow of your skin improve dramatically. And as Suzanne Summers is famous for saying, aging is really about caring for worn out parts. I really like that. Aging is really caring for our worn out parts. It's good to know that we can be our own heroes in all of this as, as we learn to adopt healthy habits and correct imbalances simply by changing what we put onto and into our bodies every day. And as we're supporting our body's natural cleansing processes in this way, we also want to be avoiding harmful ingredients in our skincare that act as saboteurs to our sort of overall health action plan. So let's talk about ingredients to watch out for, which are known toxic offenders. And I'm sharing some of these harmful ingredients to raise our awareness of, um, and just basically point out how contaminated cosmetics and toiletries are, um, and that it's way more common than people may realize or would like to actually believe. So when we dig into reputable sources like the David Suzuki Foundation, the Environmental Working Group, um, their research, and the Safer Chemicals Health Report, as well as the National Institute of Occupational Safety and Health Administration, um, when we dig into these 
uh, research organizations, we find that there are hundreds of ingredients commonly used in everyday personal care products identified as toxic or potentially cancer-causing agents. Dr. Samuel Epstein, chairman of the Cancer Prevention Coalition and Emeritus Professor of Occupational and Environmental Medicine at the University of Illinois, School of Public Health at Chicago, and leading international authority on toxicology and the carcinogenic effects of contaminants in consumer products, has classified chemical ingredients in two categories. Um, I think I have to go back this way to two, show you the categories. Um, oh goodness, not again. This was supposed to go so smoothly. It seems to work every other time, eh? Okay. I'm getting it. Um, he, ca he categorized the carcinogens into two categories. First of all, he identified over 40 um, carcinogens in mainstream cosmetics um, and the beauty industry that... Um, the first group on the left-hand side that you see there are the 40 that he identified uh, that weren't hidden, so that were blatantly obvious. And those were the BHT, B, B, BHA, the coal tar dyes, the artificial colors, the formaldehyde, talc, um, titanium dioxide, and the DEA. So you'll see those on labels. The other, the right hand list there were things that were, were hidden. So that is, um, Dr. Epstein identified those things to be um, disease, cause disease processes under certain conditions. So maybe when they were reacting with, with something else. And those things were things like the, um, the sodium lauryl sulfate, the 1,4-dioxane, the or organochlorine pesticides that are found in in lanolin products, um, nitrosamines and triclosan, things like that. U.S. researchers report that one in eight of the 82,000 ingredients used in personal care products are industrial chemicals, including pesticides, reproductive toxins, and hormone disruptors. <clears throat> Did I disappear, you guys? Because <laughs> I'm not seeing um, that I'm showing up anymore. So let me know if you can still hear, hear and see. And uh, we'll keep going. U.S. researchers report. Um, oh, I'll just skip down to Dr. Davida again. She says that many products, including plasticizers or chemicals that keep concrete soft, which is gross, um, degreasers used to get grime off auto parts and surfactants. So that's things to you, they use to reduce surface tension in water products like paint and inks. All of these things are found in um, cosmetic products. So uh, I disappeared. Okay. All right. Let's get rid of that and see if I can get back here. Craziness. Huh. It's trying hard. There's some kind of a glowing circle in the middle of mine. Well, I'm going to keep talking. You can hear me, so that's good. It's not going to be helpful when it comes to the demo, but we shall see how it goes. Um, so remember, okay, so never mind that our skin doesn't need all of those things I just talked about. Um, how about what they're doing over time to the body's organs on the inside, right? To things like our nerves and our brain, as well as to the environment. So remember how our organ systems are all beautifully interconnected. This means that how we care for one part affects how we're caring for our whole healthy self. 
So not so caring for our skin by not exposing it to all those things on the list that we just looked at. In other words, avoiding these chemicals in our skincare is not only going to be better for our skin, but it's also going to go a long way to support our delicate microbiome and gut health. So we often don't think about what we put on our skin impacting our gut health and our microbiome um, and also just supporting our brain and nervous system and endocrine system. So it's really interesting how it all ties together. Um, hmm. Well, I don't know if, if the uh, screen's gonna come back, but I'll keep chatting here. The main takeaway here is that it all matters and it all works together, right? So our skin eats too. And every topical application of anything loaded with um, these chemicals is being fed to our skin. And uh, let me see what happens now. Um, Dr. DeVita stresses that redefining aging is also learning to choose wellness, which means knowing how to avoid the assaults and navigate wisely through the myriad of toxic chemicals. One of the greatest reasons why I've been so happy with my connection to Young Living as a trusted source for the purest, safest ingredients to help us know more and do better um, is just because we don't have to worry about any undesirable ingredients in the products that we're using every day or in the ingredients that I'm using in my DIY skincare. So um, I'll see if I can share next one here with you see if you can see that <laughs> i disappeared susan you're right hopefully you can see this little slide and this is um the cosmetic benefits of genuine essential oils so i love that young living has everything in place for us um, and they have so many products infused with these beautiful essential oils. If my screen, if my camera was working, I would show you, um, I have the Bloom skincare line here beside me and the art. Um, and I also have the mint, the satin facial scrub. So all of these beautiful ready to go products, if you're not so much into DIY, um, but the essential oils that are in them are what Young Living is really all about. And we're going to talk about essential oils and carrier oil for our skin. So we're going to talk about what's the difference between the two and how do these plant ingredients come to our rescue in the area of skin care and beauty. So first let's talk about the, the essential oils for natural skin care and beauty. Um, and some of their benefits. As you girls know, essential oils, our essential oils from Young Living contain the life force. So that regenerating and oxygenating immune and defense properties found in the aromatic plants. They are extremely concentrated and potent and they provide the same benefits to us as they do for the plants from which they come. So this slide, I'll just go ahead and touch on some of these cosmetic benefits to our skin of our genuine, properly extracted essential oils. So they stimulate skin cells into reproducing at a quicker rate, and that helps reverse, actually reverse the process of aging and helps us to look younger. So who doesn't want that, right? Essential oils are able to penetrate and moisturize that deep, deep layer in the skin. They help heal skin that's been damaged by the sun, uh, as well as burns and wrinkles. They prevent congestion of toxins and expedite the elimination of toxic debris, improving our lymphatic flow. Essential oils destroy infectious in agents. So we know how antimicrobial our oils are, right? Um, reducing things like acne and skin infections. Can you still see the slide? 
let me know. Um, our essential oils reduce the stress and tension that often leads to aging skin. And they help reduce puffiness and inflammation. So Young Living Cypress Oil, for example, is um, a really good example of an essential oil that reduces puffiness. And I'm actually going to be putting it into our skin serum in a moment. Um, into mine. Um, it's one oil outside of the starter bundle that I like to add. Essential oils help to regulate over or underactive oil glands in the skin. So again, that balancing act that they're so good at. And they contain naturally balancing plant hormones themselves. So balancing um, and just really uh, bringing back the, the equilibrium in our skin. Essential oils, restorative properties, nourish the skin, keeping collagen and elastin in good working condition. So who knew that our oils could do all this for our skin? In her book, Saving Face, Dr. Sabina writes, the vital energy, beauty, and life force of the plant is brought directly to your skin by using this wonderful treasure we call essential oils. And as most of you know, Young Living takes extraordinary steps to their growing, harvesting, and distilling of the plants. All of the plants our oils come from are distilled in small batches for extended periods at very low pressure and low heat in these really cool stainless steel vertical steam distillers that Gary Young developed to minimize chemical alterations from reactive metals. Um, no solvents or synthetic chemicals of any kind are, are used. And we know, of course, no pesticides. Timing and pressure in the distillation are exact and extremely important. For example, Cypress that I just mentioned requires 24 hours at 245 degrees Fahrenheit and five pounds of pressure to extract all of its active ingredients. Most operations distill cypress for only about an hour and 15 minutes, resulting in a very different quality of oil. Um, Dr. Daniel Penwell, MD, leader, practitioner, and researcher of over 25 years in the use of essential oils, is quoted as saying, I would rather have a drop of genuine essential oil than a 55-gallon drum of junk product. Okay, I'm still fiddling with it, seeing if I can fix it, but I, I don't know. Mm -hmm. um, Dr. Penwell points out that genuine essential oils are expensive to produce, but they're worth it. He also states how companies have jumped on the aromatic bandwagon, decreasing quality for quantity, selling products for fragrance rather than the medicinal plant benefits to our skin. He also states that this is not the case with Young Living. Instead, Young Living's founder and pioneer, Gary Young, created a means for producing oils of the very highest quality on a very large scale. Um, okay. Got one more here. And at least I've got the slides up for you. <laughs> um, so Young Living takes these extraordinary steps and, and lavender is a really good example of why it's important to know and trust your purveyor when it comes to choosing your essential oils. If you know where your oils are sourced from and that they are 100% pure, then they are both safe and effective. And Young Living Lavender has the highest levels of active ingredients, um, especially something called linalool, because it's the original French lavender seed properly grown, harvested, and distilled. So there's a long list of first aid applications for this real lavender, which sort of prove its healing efficacy. It's well known as the oil of re relaxation, and a lot of us use it every night in our diffuser for better sleep. Lavender may also alleviate headaches, stress, digestive discomfort, and cough and cold. Um, it's comforting to joints and muscles, and true lavender applied to a burn or a bee sting will stop the pain immediately. 
So a lot of those things that we're accustomed to using our lavender for are skin related, right? So it's just a favorite for skin and hair. Um, and we're going to put it in both the facial serum and the cleanser for our DIY. When it's real, this lavender smells amazing. So it's awesome to have it in our skincare products. And that was a real eye opener for me because before I smelled Young Living Lavender, my opinion about lavender in general was I didn't care for it so much um, because I think I had only ever smelled synthetics in, in products in drugstores, for example. I had no idea that bottles could be labeled 100% pure or organic, quote unquote, or say lavender on them and not even have real lavender in the bottle. Many people have tried oils from a retail store with little or no effect and in some cases they have even caused them discomfort like headaches for example is one reaction that we hear quite often okay um, I have another one for you here it's just taking way longer than I thought to get to it Um, frankincense, Young Living Frankincense is another example of a lifetime of painstaking work to bring a true essential oil to the world today. Frankincense is one of the most beautiful oils for skin and so anti-aging. We, we, we use it for respiratory support and emotional grounding too, right? With all its deeply calming, calming um, aroma. But it's just so useful that Egyptians called frankincense the king of oils. But this real frankincense, um, it's just an incredibly precious high frequency oil that we love, love to add to our skincare DIYs. And another one is Copaiba. So copaiba, there's a picture of a, co a copal tree, a Brazilian copal tree for you. It's an, another amazingly effective yet gentle oil found in Young Living's premium starter bundle of most popular oils and blends. Copaiba essential oil is distilled from this Brazilian copal tree and it has a really soft, relaxing aroma. It's often referred to as the ibuprofen of essential oils because it contains caryophyllene, which is a natural analgesic. So it's got these wonderful anti-inflammatory properties to it. Beautiful on the skin, especially for any kind of problem skin like scars. Um, it's the perfect oil to have in our premium starter bundle of 11 oils and blends because Copaiba amplifies the effects of previously applied oils. And it's just a great, what we call a driver oil to add in with our skin, um, in our skin serum. Lemon, I didn't do a slide for, but lemon, there's tons of ways to use real lemon around our home. And it's also one that we're going to add to um, our skin DIYs this evening. And, uh, Many of you know all of the different ways to use lemon around your home, air purification, cleaning your fruits and veggies, um, your laundry room DIYs. It makes a great sort of goo gone to remove gum and sticky residue. Um, it even aids digestion. So, but, and it's really great in, in our skin um, DIYs, especially if you have oily or combination skin with its powerfully astringent and antioxidant properties. Um, and yes, you want to avoid applying undiluted lemon essential oil to exposed skin prior to full sun exposure, as pure citrus oils can make skin more photosensitive. That said, don't be afraid to use genuine Young Living Lemon essential oil diluted in your skincare DIYs. So last, lastly, we want to look at what we call carrier oil, since we just mentioned dilution. And we'll be using carrier oil in both of our DIYs as well, along with our genuine essential oils. And maybe if I just shut the um, screen sharing off, I'll get, the, I'll get this up. 
I really don't know what's gone awry here. Okay. Okay. I'm back. I now know what I did wrong. So we're back in business, girls. Did you know you were going to be guinea pigs tonight? Okay. So lemon I didn't have a slide for, and carrier oils I don't have a slide for either. So we can just stay as we are, and we'll talk about carrier oils. So our carrier oils are used for diluting and topically applying pure essential oils. And they come, carrier oils also come from plants, right? And they're quite different though from the essential oil of a plant, which technically isn't an oil at all. The essential oil is actually just a lightweight, volatile or evaporating sort of lifeblood of the plant. Carrier oils, on the other hand, which we find in something like our V6, um, which I'll talk about in a moment, are, are uh, these plant oils are found in the nut or the seed of the plant. And they're there to nourish that seed and help it have the energy to germinate and grow. Fatty oils like these are heavier molecules, so they don't evaporate like the volatile, lightweight essential oil. So their heavy molecules make them perfect for capturing our essential oils for greater coverage over our skin and greater staying power for topical application of those evaporating um, essential oils. And we also use fatty carrier oils to dilute strong essential oils, which may feel warm on the skin if we put them on undiluted. Quality is very important when it comes to carrier oils too. So we want to avoid cheaply produced or rancid oils for use as carrier oils. So the V6 that I have in my hand here, uh, the Enhanced Vegetable Oil Complex, it's called, is my favorite versatile blend of the six lightweight carrier oils, including organic coconut, sesame, grapeseed, sweet almond, wheat germ, sunflower, and olive fruit oil. And the V6 blend is so pure that it's edible. Um, and a tiny bit goes a long, long way. So it lasts and lasts. The graduated pump dispenses just the right amount um, for diluting our genuine essential oils, which you'll see in a minute when we use it for our um, foaming face, face wash. Face wash. <sighs> and it makes it easy to fill small gla glass dropper bottles or things like the veggie capsules for diluting our, our dietary essential oils. So V6 is my, my go-to. It's my carrier oil of choice for making practical roller ball uh, roller bottle dilutions and other DIY answers with our essential oils. I've been using the V6 along with pure jojoba oil as the base for my daily skin serum for about four years now, um, infused with the Young Living essential oils. And I'll demonstrate how easy it is to do before we finish up. And I just love, love the way that these carrier oils and our essential oils feel on my skin. So to make a simple skin serum then, um, a face serum I like to call it, and now that I know what I'm doing, I'm going to put a slide up for you about that. There we go. So to make a simple face serum, um, and again, this is hands down my favorite morning and evening moisturizer or be beauty serum, if you will. So we simply want to fill a small pump bottle. This is mine that I've been using for a long time. I picked it up at a health store and it's just a nice little pump bottle. But you can also purchase um, nice little pump bottles like this. Um, I'm not sure locally, you could try the local health stores, but you can definitely find them on Amazon or from Life Science Publishing is where I got this guy. Um, so you're going to simply fill one of these halfway with uh, your V6. And um, so I can do that for you. And you can just see how you can easily measure 
with your um, graduated pump. And then you want to add your favorite skin loving essential oils from your premium starter bundle. So I always like to start with those. And what we'll do is we'll start with our frankincense and our lavender and our copaiba. So those are three that we just talked about with our slides. And I'm going to add 10 drops each of these. So 10 drops of my lavender. And you can help me count. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And then 10 drops of frankincense. I'm not sure if I have that much left in this bottle, but I have another one here. And when you're not getting the, the uh, oil to drop, you can rotate your bottle. Yeah, this one's pretty empty. I think I'll just swap it out. I have been dipping into my starter bundle. I have another one here, a backup frankincense. There we go. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Whoops, I got 11, but who doesn't want an extra drop of frankincense? And then copaiba, 10 drops of that. Um, copaiba is a little thicker resinous oil like frankincense, so you can see it's a little slower to drop from the bottle. But never rush your oils, just be patient with them. And I may have got an extra drop there too, but that's okay. And then what you want to do is just top it up with a quality jojoba oil. So um, you can find that at your local health store. Um, and jojoba is technically not an oil at all, but rather a super lightweight natural plant wax that softens and protects the skin. Um, so I'll put a little bit in. You can see it's kind of a golden color here. So I'm using half V6 and half jojoba, basically. You can also optionally add to your face serum three to five drops of other skin-loving essential oils as well. So you might want to consider your skin type and choose additional essential oils accordingly. And there's a chart in the personal care section on my website uh, under uh, personal care, and it has all of the... Um, different essential oils for different skin types. I believe I also put that little chart in the corresponding Facebook event to this class, so you can find it there as well. But it might be an oil like myrrh, which I have here. Um, I'll just warm it in my hand for a moment. I love to add myrrh to my skin serum, so I'll go ahead and do three to five drops of that. And it's super um, viscous or thick, so slow to drop. If you have myrrh, you might even want to put a little bit of V6 in around the inside of its cap so that it doesn't um, stick onto the bottle. I often um, compare myrrh to like the resin that people use on their violin string because it will kind of crystallize like that inside of its lid. So running a little bit of your carrier oil inside the lid helps to kind of lubricate it and help it not to get gummed up like that. But maybe I'll do this later when I'm not live because it's just so slow. But you saw how long it took to get one in there. I'll finish that up later. I would add some myrrh. I would add some cypress, um, which I do have here. And I love to add carrot seed because I'm older. So for aging skin, carrot seed is really great for anti-wrinkle. It has a bit of sun protection to it, which I'll talk about in a second. I also like to add balsam fir. It's beautiful. Um, throughout time, people have used balsam for skin care. So I'll add some of that in there. And yeah, then I'll just top it up maybe with a little bit more B6. You want to leave some headroom for your pump. And then just tighten it on. And you're good to go with a beautiful... Um, you just kind of rock it back and forth to blend it together. And you've just got a beautiful skin serum. My sister loves this. She um, she tells me that it just feels like satin or velvet on her skin and just loves it. Um, and other oils that you could possibly add in would include helichrysum if you have it. Um, Roman chamomile is beautiful. On skin blue tansy another gorgeous skin loving oil from young living um, sandalwood and palmarosa 
Elemy, especially if you tend to have oily skin or um, problem uh, blemish skin. And tea tree, elemy and tea tree are great for those um, concerns. And fennel, patchouli and rose are also beautiful skin loving oils that we have access to from Young Living. On a side note, a couple of my personal favorite blends from Young Living that I like to add to my serum, and I'll add these later as well. Um, the first one is uh, just because they're simply loaded with skin loving essential oils. The first one is Young Living's 25th anniversary blend developed by Mary Young for Young Living's 25th anniversary. And um, the other one is Amorescence. Also, Mary Young had some input into this one and that is exclusive to attendees to Young Living's beauty school each year. So um, they did it virtually last year in 2020 and I'm assuming they'll do that again this August. So um, that's the only place where you can get amorescence and it is just unreal for your skin serum as well. Once you've topped up that pump bottle, um, you just again apply it morning and evening as desired. You can also follow up applying your skin serum um, by using your jade roller if you um, have one of these. And the instructions for um, using the jade roller for circulation in your skin and moving that lymph around and um, smoothing your oils onto your skin. And it just feels so cool and lovely. So you can let me know in the comments if you've ever um, maybe if you've ever made your own skin serum, if you've ever tried a jade roller on your skin and how you like that. Um, and while I'm sort of watching the comments, I'll just mention quickly the SPF potential of a skin serum like this before we finish up with the foaming facial cleanser. So it's actually pretty cool that most, um, that many of the vegetable carrier oils in something like the V6 that we're using provide natural SPF sun protection without the use of harsh chemicals. Um, for example, the sesame oil found in here uh, can block or reduce about 30% of the sun's burning rays. And coconut and olive oil, both found in V6 as well, can block about 20%. And adding aloe vera, like we'll be doing with the foaming facial cleanser, um, gives added protection as well. Other fatty oils like sea buckthorn, avocado, carrot seed, and raspberry seed can also be used to pre prevent sunburn when mixed with lavender and helichrysum essential oil. So again, there's that sort of synergy there that happens. In fact, helichrysum essential oil has been researched for its ability to effectively screen out some of the sun's rays. So, and of course, protecting our face and body from intense sun exposure is always a good idea. So wearing that, that hat with the brim in full sun, especially between say 11 a.m. and 3 p.m. if you're out during the middle part of the day to protect your skin. Michelle says, love my skin serum loaded with the oils. Me too, Michelle. So lastly, to make your own foaming facial cleanser, <coughs> pardon me, um, and I think there's a, um, this is definitely on the website, the little recipe, and I may have put it in the correlating Facebook group as well for tonight's class. Um, for your foaming facial cleanser, if you have tried say the art foaming uh, gentle cleanser from Young Living and your bottle's empty, you could upcycle your bottle um, and make this in that. Or um, you can purchase um, something like this from Amazon. This was from Life Science, but these lovely little foaming pump bottles, that's what we'll be using this evening. And um, the base for our foaming facial cleanser is, let's see if we can get it here. Um, okay, we did that one, sorry. Is um, unscented pure Castile soap. So I actually have a bottle of that to show you here. 
and I think I put a picture of this in the Facebook event too. But pure Castile um, liquid soap is made from pure vegetable oils, so it doesn't have any animal fats, and it's biodegradable and non-toxic. It cleanses gently and safely, and you can totally consume it. Um, uh, not that I would want to eat it, but it wouldn't hurt a child if they ate it. Um, so infusing this natural soap with your essential oils is um, the way that we like to roll with a lot of our DIYs. In fact, it can be safely used in dozens of do-it-yourself recipes like foaming hand soaps. This is the one that we like to use. Uh, we like to add in our higher phenolic oils like lemongrass and tea tree and our famous thieves blend from the starter bundle into our foaming hand soaps with this guy. Um, we can use it with our pets and even in the garden to help control pests like mites and aphids and ants. And one, a one liter bottle of that runs you around $20. That happened to be the Dr. Bronner's brand. Um, and so it goes a long, long way for all of these practical DIY uses. The next thing in our foaming facial cleanser is distilled water. Um, and that's just water that's been boiled and cooled. So I'll just catch up here and uh, get my recipe out in front of me. So we just want that half ounce to start with of the pure liquid Castile soap. I do have a little funnel, but I think I can do it without it. You want to put in your half ounce of your pure Castile soap and then we're just going to add an ounce of pure distilled water. You know what, I think I will use my little funnel just so I don't. Okay. I don't want to put too much more in. I need to leave some headroom for my, um, the foaming pump dispenser, right? And then we're actually going to add some of our V6 Enhanced Carrier Oil, and we're just going to put in one pump, and that's about a half a teaspoon. And that gives your foaming facial cleanser a really nice moisturizing um, quality to it. And, um, and it's got those nourishing properties from those carrier oils in the V6 as well. Then you can add a couple drops of your pure um vegetable glycerin which i have over here and if you have it it's optional but vegetable glycerin is this clear liquid and i'm literally only just going to add a couple of drops just like that it's a clear liquid made from coconut or palm or soybean oil and it's just odorless tasteless and it's so pure you could eat it it's edible it's moisturizing and it help we add it because it helps our essential oils mix in with the Castile soap and the distilled water. And a bottle this size a little bit goes a long, long way. So it would last you for a long time. And last but not least, you wanna add your Pure Young Living essential oils. Again, like the lavender, um, the frankincense, the copaiba, and the lemon that we mentioned earlier, um, as well as purification blend. Um, and I don't have a slide for purification, but um, it's a really popular blend in the starter bundle that is um, really popular uh, with its lemongrass. It's this guy right here, lemongrass, rosemary, tea tree, myrtle, and citronella in the purification blend. Um, it's a fantastic first aid blend um, that you can apply topically to bites and stings and cuts and sores and bruises. So it is wonderful on the skin. And it's really great to add into a little bit of it into our um, foaming facial cleanser as well. Very purifying for the skin. So once you've added all those oils, and I, I actually will just pretend that I just added them all in to save time. You just want to top up with um, more distilled water, leaving enough head room for your little foaming top. And uh, just screw it on there and then just gently mix it all together. and just enjoy using it morning and evening as needed it's going to foam out really nice as you can see and uh it feels amazing like satin on your skin and i find that it's gentle and yet it removes all of the natural mineral makeup it's not greasy it's just so lovely
removes makeup, no problem. Um, if you want to add oils outside of your starter bundle, oils to your foaming facial cleanser, you could check out the list of oils for various skin types again. Um, but that's it. Um, that's your skin serum and your, <coughs> pardon me, your foaming facial cleanser. I hope we've learned a little bit together about maintaining beautiful skin and supporting this important body system with better choices for overall wellness, for beauty, and toxin-free lifestyle habits. And uh, yeah, if you're new to all of this and you would like to know how you can access the pure carrier oils and the essential oils from Young Living, um, and all the safe natural answers. Now that the screen is working again, I can show you some of the beautiful ready to go skincare. Um, uh, the Bloom line is just gorgeous. So if you're not into DIY and you're ready to just try um, what's already in place for you from Young Living. And again, I mentioned the Art line, which um, is beautiful for aging skin, really a lot of frankincense in the Art line. <clears throat> Pardon me, guys. Um, if you want to know more about these things, uh, it's important for you to note that Young Living essential oils and all of these things are not sold in, in retail stores because they really want you to have more support um, in learning how to become confident using them um, than what you might get in a retail environment. And the most cost-effective way to access Young Living products is with your wholesale membership. And I know a lot of us on here tonight really enjoy that um, way of ordering, comes right to our door. You just visit youngliving.com and choose your country and click become a member. And um, be sure to ask the person who invited you to join onto this class because they'll be able to help you get started with a member referral code and get you set up with your wholesale membership to save that 24% off everything all the time and actually 50% on the starter bundles, um, which are in place to help us get going. It just takes a couple of minutes online to set up your account and get your items on your way to your door. Um, if you don't have a Young Living connection with anyone, just email me at essentialoils.start at gmail.com and I'll be glad to help you get started. We love Young Living Starter Bundles. Um, I think I do have a slide here to show you one last slide. Uh, if I can get it up here quickly, right here. We love Young Living Starter Bundles and you don't have to start with a starter bundle. If you're interested, you can order whatever you like, but the starter bundles, again, are just the best, most economical, best value getting started. And um, they are loaded with the most popular products. So this one pictured here has 11 of the most popular oils and blends. It comes with your choice of uh, ultrasonic diffuser. Um, the dewdrop one is pictured there, or there's another Moroccan style, a little bigger with a few more bells and whistles called the Desert Mist. And then all the um, accessories and some samples there as well. And that whole kit as comes for $199.75 Canadian. And uh, there are several starter bundles to choose from. You can see them all on the website. Um, but whatever you choose to get started, I highly recommend that you run your very first order through their loyalty rewards monthly order cart. It's the best way to order, you guys. Just It's the most popular way that we all like to order with the most perks. We call it our monthly wellness box. Um, and it's the way we've been ordering and restocking from Young Living for almost five years now for what we're using every day in our personal care and around home. And we make sure that we make really good use of all those loyalty rewards points, which we're able to redeem for so much free product over time. It's so amazing. And everyone who joins our Young Living Oils community with their wholesale member account gains immediate access to our social media groups for ongoing support and connection. And of course, you can feel free to poke around at that little website that I have set up, dianajohnson.ca 
for ideas and inspiration and a schedule of upcoming classes. So in any of the graphics that you see in the um, event on Facebook that we prepared for you for tonight, those graphics are available all the time off of Facebook on the website. So thanks for hanging out with me. Thanks for putting up with adjusting to this new platform. I'm still ironing out the wrinkles with this restream um, web-based thing that connects to YouTube. But um, I hope you'll follow uh, along on, on my YouTube channel. And uh, I'm not sure if we're going to have a replay from tonight or not. We'll have to wait and see. But you can also find me on Instagram and you can direct message me there on Instagram um, and or Facebook with any questions. Um, you can put some questions in the comments right now and I'll have a boo at those before I exit. And yeah, we'll be sure to add the, um, if I can get a recording up on YouTube, um, I'll be sure to add my email address in there and these other links for you. Yeah, so thanks for watching. And I'll just say goodbye for now and um, have a great rest of your week and enjoy the mild temperatures. Okay, good night. Bye-bye. <laughs>